Welcome to the Regina Queen Show. We hope you all are having a beautiful day. Life is beautiful. Life is what we make of it. Today I have here with me Marae Ayers. Marae Ayers is an actress and an obedience professional <laughs> dog trainer. <laughs> Professional obedience dog trainer. There you go. <laughs> well, yes. And so, hi, Marae, how are you doing today? Actually, I'm doing great because I'm here with you and we're going to empower everyone who's listening. That's yes. our goal today, right? Yes, Regina? we are. Yes, yes, we are. Yes, we Thank are. You. Definitely, most definitely. And, you. you know, everyone, um, we're going to be talking about life endeavors after losing a loved one and how we cope through life after losing a loved one because most cannot cope through life after losing a loved one and the strength that we have and um er, um er, uh miss moray you we met on the clubhouse platform and my yes story we did we did. Yeah. We met in my favorite room of all, which is the gratitude room that yeah. I'm in almost every morning. And we share what we're grateful for. And that's one of my tools that I use. Yes. Now, my story was captivating to you. And um, after sharing some of my story, I was letting people know what I was grateful for in that room and my greatness what I had targeted is the strength the strength that the most high has given me to carry on after losing my children and that is why I'm here I am here today that is why the Regina Queen show is here today because mm -hmm. God given me the strength to open up the platform to be able to bring in women and men, parents of gun violence, people, humanity, people who have lost loved ones to gun violence and people who had encountered domestic violence, to be able to use their voice and share with the world, to open up their heart, to release pain. So that is what my that is that is why I'm here for. God given me the strength to be here for that. And you know, I'm so so grateful for the strength that he has given me. And um, you said that hearing my story, it really touched your heart. Yes. You cried. Yes. Um, you cried. And yes. it has been very painful for you after losing your husband. Sometimes we walk around and we carry pain deep inside and not release it. You know, we just try to maneuver through life without embracing the pain that is deep down inside of us. That is what I felt with you when you sent me that message saying how my story captivated, how it was so been so painful for you after losing your husband. So Miss Marae, can you please share some of your story after losing your husband? What has life been like for you? <laughs> That's a, do you have about four hours here? On, um, on no, I wish we could. <laughs> but you can, show, you you can know, share, you know, a segment of, of, of what happened. You know, yes. Yeah. To answer your question, it's been a journey. It's been a process. You do not get over something overnight. The pain hits you. The loss hits you. Mine happened to be my husband who had an illness and I watched him in the illness and then he left. And of course I was devastated of the loss and the pain, but I have, I had, and I found out many, many tools that I could use, that I could incorporate, that helped me. And if you want me to, it's up to you. I could share some of the tools that I used to get me past or get me through 
the process. Yes, and I, I would that. love for you. I would love for you um, to share some of those tools. But before right. you go into sharing some of the tools that what you do to empower yourself and others, yes, you can just share like what life has been like. You know what happened to your husband, and what life <clears throat> has been like for you navigating through um, life after losing your husband. Like, did you? Okay. Did you? Okay. So did you beat yourself up? Did you go through anxiety and depression? You know, did you seek counseling? Did you feel alone? Because these are some of the things that people feel after losing a loved one. And of course. Depression and anxiety is so I did so I did hard. not seek I did not seek professional counseling. I did go to the minister of my church, which is Church of Religious Science. I'm not a religious, I'm a spiritual, metaphysical. And I went and had a couple of meetings there um uh, and i i will tell you what well first off you asked what happened to my husband he had premature um alzheimer's so i watched that process he turned into mr dr jekyll and mr hyde he was two people and i would one one minute i would see the real rick the next minute i would see this other person that was taking over his body so when he passed, he passed on February the 11th. On the 14th of February, which was our favorite holiday of the year, even more than, it was Valentine's Day, even more than, than Christmas. Being that it was so special, I had a total panic attack on the 14th and I couldn't speak, could hardly breathe. So I kept, you know, I've always meditated. So I kept doing breathing exercises. I couldn't even call anybody. And all of a sudden, I remembered something that I learned. And I'm a student of law of attraction. That which is likened to itself is drawn. And I go to, I'm on Zoom meetings twice a, twice a month with my law of attraction. And I remembered, I remembered that whatever you give out, you get back. And all of a sudden it hit me. And that was one of my tools with Gina. I went, wait a minute. We talk about contrast and law of attraction. We all have contrast. We have something that happens to us that we don't like. That's contrast. Happens to every one of us almost every day. So what we do is then we go into the focus of what it is you want. So when I was almost on the floor, just hanging on, all of a sudden it hit me. I have a tool. And that tool is, I see where I'm at with all this pain. And without Rick for the first time in, what, 30 years? What is it that I want? I want love. So all of a sudden I said, okay, whatever you want, whatever you want, focus on what you want. What is it you want, Mare? And I said to myself, I want love. I want love. So you know what I did? I went through my contact list in my iPhone and I called and I wrote everybody and I said, if you're with your loved one tonight or, or now, or you're not with a loved one and you're with your dog or you're with a tree, or if you don't have any of those things, hug yourself, put me in the middle and hug me and know that I'm sending you love. And therefore you'll be sending me love. And Regina, when I did that, I, I spent two hours doing that, really. All of a sudden, something lifted from me. And then I spent the next three, four hours receiving love notes from everybody that I sent a note to. Because what did I want? We have to know what it is we want. I wanted love. Well, how do you get what you want? You give out what you want. Yes. And I spoke it. Words are powerful. I said, God, the universe, what do I want right now? I want love. So what I did is I gave it out and I got it back. And that was my first tool that I used. And from that day on, I started my gratitude journal. And I discovered Clubhouse. 
and all the great people in it. And that's where I met you on Clubhouse in the gratitude room. And I went there so humble and was crying all the time. And there was a man, a wonderful man by the name of Gary Fox. He pulled me up and said, keep coming back. I was crying less and less and was getting more strength that I found another room, a showbiz room with Hamza Saman, who we are a family and it's all show business. They, we give love, we're a family. It's called yes. Hollywood Chit Chat. And we give love and it, it, it's called um, diversity in Hollywood. And it's called Arabian Nights. And there's people from all over the country, all over the world, I'm one of them, but we give out love. So the answer is love. And the answer is the gratitude journal. And also, another, thing I, another thing I do for giving out, I have people call me and they, they find out about me on Clubhouse. It's a wonderful platform uh, for like-minded people, okay? And, and I only attract what I am. And that's, that's why I'm here to great. That is you. so great. I give, I give free obedience dog training behavioral sessions over the phone, I do not charge. It's my way of giving back. So my answer to anybody who's in pain, cry, cry all you want. It's a form of release. Don't Ms. Murray, Ms. Murray, I would like to ask you, Ms. Murray, yes, I, would like, I would like to ask you, what has, what have crying done for you? What crying has done for me, and it uh, for everyone, and a very dear girlfriend of mine called me and she was in, she was crying. I said, sweetheart, cry. It's a form of release. And if anybody tells you not to cry, I don't mean a cry baby. I don't mean a victim. No, no one is ever a victim. We are only a victim of ourselves. But crying is a form of letting go, a release. Cry as much as you want. And don't t let anybody tell you to be strong. Let them be strong. Don't listen to that. Listen to your heart. Your heart and your higher self knows what to do. So release that emotion. Walk down the street, see a person you don't know, smile at them. Look at what comes back at you. I did this three times yesterday. Mm -hmm. You really, and I love it. Yes, yes. Marie, what, what, have, what, what has, I mean, how did you, how did you identify your pain that you went through after losing your husband? I identified my pain as an opportunity, an opportunity to grow. I am the person I am now, Regina. I love. I do that mirror exercise where I go, I love you. You're beautiful inside. You're beautiful out. You're spiritual. You're divine. I hug myself. Almost every day I do the mirror routine. And that pain, sometimes they say, you have to lose yourself in order to find yourself. I did lose myself, Regina. As an actor, my work has changed. I come now more from the heart. Before it was, well, I was, I've always been a good actor, <laughs> but before it was more from performance. Now, who am I as a person? I think pain is an opportunity. And I don't think of it as, a, as the word P-A-I-N, pain. I don't think of it as that. I think of it as an opportunity to grow, to learn, to move on, and to help others and empower others like I've been empowered. And I'm, being, I'm empowered right now being a part of this show. Yes. And I'm grateful for that. And you were in my grateful journal yesterday. Yes, <laughs> and you. you will be in my grateful journal today. I do thank this seven days a week. Because whatever you put out to the universe, Regina, is going to come back. If you put out caca, guess what? You're going to get caca back. So put out the good stuff. Because there's a lot of good to get put out. And be grateful. When you do your grateful journal, everybody, don't. Oh, I, I, I inherited a million dollars. No, be grateful for the, the toast that you're making. Be grateful for the sun that comes out. If it's a cloudy day, be grateful for the beautiful gray cloudy day. Be grateful of little tiny things. The universe does not know a button from a castle. 
So just be grateful for everything. I'm sitting here in this most beautiful living room. I see my snare drum over there. I'm grateful for my snare drum. I'm grateful for my piano. I'm grateful for my paintings on the wall that I painted. I'm, I'm grateful for this beautiful sunny day that we're having here in Tarzana. I mean, already I've named grateful things. I'm grateful that I'm on this show. I'm grateful that I get to share. These are all maybe small, but they're big to me. And that, I hope I've answered your question about it. Yes, yes, you really did. You really Thank did. You. And, and your gratefulness oh, yeah. been, has kept you alive. <sighs> you know, people, you know, I, I know there are people who have committed suicide after losing oh, yeah. a loved one. Oh, yes. And they, they couldn't, you know, navigate through life, through the pain. Oh, yes. Through the pain. Oh, yes. Know? I and, understand. Uh, I it, understand. It, it take it takes one's life, and um, Ooh, and the I strength. I'm I'm grateful, you know, as well for you know the strength that you have, and but what I got out of you that you felt that you did really didn't have the strength after losing your husband. Yes. And um, but I just want to let you know you have you do have the strength. You have the strength. Yeah, sure. it's a process. Yeah. It, it, it yes. you know, it, it didn't happen overnight, Regina. Yes, and it, I see that you do a lot for. I see that you do a lot for your community. You know, you go out and feed. You know, hundreds of uh, the homeless. Yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, yeah. I have. I have the, the small one. That I is got the small one coming up this this, this Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, that is last Sunday. Last Sunday we fed 160. If you if you go on my Instagram page, you'll see the videos. Yes, and um, how does that help you? You know, when you go out to feed oh, the homeless and people, does oh, that honey, help you along? Honey, you anything know, you do, your healing journey, anything, anything you do in our life of giving, of giving. Guess, guess what? what? You get you back, back so much. much giving, whether it be a smile of a stranger. Just giving or saying, you know what? I love your hair. I love who you are. Because everyone is on here. Everyone, you know. So if, if I meet a person who's like caca, I have to look at myself and go, where am I caca? I mean, really, I'm serious. You're right. Everybody is our reflection. So I say just give as much as you can of yourself. And sometimes people don't want to receive it. Well, guess what? It's okay. That's their choice. It has no control or power over you. You give sincerely from your point of view. And if somebody doesn't want to receive it, you bless them and send them on their way and you just move on. There's many others who will receive what you have to give. And what we have to give to each other is love. If we had more of that on this planet, we wouldn't have all the things happening that we have happening, but we won't get into that right now. Yes. Yes. And you know what, um, Marae, I admire your strength. I really do. And just know that you do have the strength. Never doubt, never doubt yourself. That you do oh. have strength. So do you. I know your story. So do you. Takes yeah. one to know one, they say, you know. That, yes. Yes, don't forget, like I said earlier, that which is likened to itself is drawn. And you and I are here. And there are no accidents. There are none. It was meant to be how, yes. how we found each other. Yes. And so I admire you. And I know your story and your loss. And yes. I admire you. And thank yes. you. for Thank you for what you are doing for others. And I'm grateful to be a part of it. Just a small little speck part of it today. Thank you. Yes, yes. There is power in the voice. We have power in our voice. <sighs> it release it release pain as well as we speak and share our stories. It releases pain. And that needs to be released. The pain that we carry deep down inside it needs to be released. And there are people who I have spoken to have done that. You know, they share their story and, you know, it's just, it's like the whole world was weighed down, weighed down on their backs and it just released and they felt free to fly like a bird. But um, there, there is power in the voice. And um, 
I was happy to have you here to, to share some of your story and being able to let you set some of that pain that you have deep down inside. It's still there. It's still there. Don't forget, yes. nothing is ever complete. We are we are evolving spiritually, emotionally. Nothing, nothing is ever is complete. Yes. And I'm a work in progress. Yes. Believe me. If you, speak, if, you if you don't speak, if you don't speak, there's no way you can cope with life. So you're doing a great job. Good. But my phone oh, right. Yes, it is. And yes. And I, I would like to thank you, Marae, for being a guest here on the Regina Queen Show. Oh, thank and you. Thank yes, you so I'm very, very Yeah, I'm very grateful to have given you the opportunity uh -huh. to come here today <gasps> to speak a little thank bit you. about your strength and the loss of your husband and how you navigate through life after losing a loved one. And um, uh -huh. so just to see <laughs> you for others who have lost loved ones, just to just know that you do have the strength to survive. So never doubt that you do not have the strength. Uh -huh. Get a support team and um, get counseling, get help, you know, if you need to, and don't drown yourself in your pain. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Marae is, you know, and myself is a, a witness of strength after losing a loved one. We're still here <laughs> to empower each other and to empower others and to share stories with people yeah, share our yeah. stories with people around the world yes um, and thank you so much and is there anything that you would like to say Marie, before we go to um <laughs> empower someone people who have lost a loved one well you know lost, lost, lost. Lost. if you live if you live i don't know kids how long you live there's always going to be loss there always will be there is a way, there is a resolved situation where we can, we can grow from, and we can learn to grow from our pain. We don't, yes, we're gonna feel the pain, but we don't have to stay stuck there and keep moving forward and give out as much love to the universe, but first to yourself, give it to yourself first. Because if you don't give it to yourself, you're not going to be able to give it to others. Give it to yourself first. Like that mirror exercise I talked about. Do it every single day. Raise that consciousness and be grateful for what you have. And you will see what the universe gives back to you. And I'm a living example. And believe me, I cry. And I have days that I have contrast. Yes, we still cry. And oh, yes, we do. It's a yeah. release. And it's beautiful. Just give love. Okay, if I could leave everybody with that, give love and it will come back to you because whatever you give out, guess what? It's going to come back to you on some level and on some, some form. Just give out love. I don't, I'm not yes. a Pollyanna, okay? I'm not. Just give out love. And that's what you and I have been doing here today for anyone who's watching or who will be watching. But love yes. yourself, love yourself first then you can love others. You must love yourself before you can love others. Yeah. And you have a friend here. Uh, her name is by the name of Lily. She said, I'm here for you, Marae. Pardon? You're, you have a friend here by the name of Lily. She said, I am here for you, Marae. Oh, my God. You should, you've got to have Lily on your show. She is one of the most magnificent human beings. Oh, my I God. I would love to. I would love to. <gasps> Oh yeah, yeah. Please yeah, contact her. Care for you. Supporting. Oh, no. She will be one of your best guests you've ever had. What she's oh. been through and what she stands for. Oh my God, Lily, oh, Lily. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, yes, I'm so yes, excited. Yes. <laughs> yes, and then you have. Uh, oh, this is a Stephen Montgomery. He's a friend of mine on Facebook. He said hi. Oh. And um, oh, wow. Hello, Stephen. And good afternoon, ladies. Ladies. Oh, wow. So, yes. And Lily says she's sending you love. Oh, of course she is. She better. Yes. She's a, she's a, she's a, she's a, she's a tiny, cute, adorable little thing, you know. And she's yes. a wonderful actress, a filmmaker. And yes. she might be changing professions. We don't know yet. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, but we saved the best for last. And what, ha what movies have you starred in 
what films have you starred in? Well, well you know, I've, I've done, done a, lot a lot of theater, theater and a lot, lot of films, films but my, my most my most my favorite project, I must admit, is my is own. own. And that is Traces of Memory with a brilliant director, Jody Jarris, who is, she's also my mentor. She's going to be, she'll probably be watching this. And she'll say, oh, no, you mentioned my name. She's a wonderful actress, wonderful acting coach, and um, a marvelous director. She's not easy. She's not easy. She keeps you on your game. But the film has won 11 um, festival awards called Traces wow. of Memory. Yes, and it, it was uh, something. And my husband was one of the one of the uh, producers of it. And uh, uh, that's what I'm mostly proud of because I did it. Yes, I've been hired for different things, and I'm happy and I'm grateful. But it's what I did on my own when I didn't think I could do it, and we did. And it was a labor of love, but it was Screen Actors Guild. Everyone got paid because I, I feel that everyone should get paid for their services, whether it be a penny or whatever. Yes. Where can we find? Where can we find? Well, we um, we um, you can go to my my website and see the and see the trailer. We haven't released it publicly yet. We we will be. We will be. It'll probably be on YouTube. Uh, my director, Jody Jarris, will decide how she wants to release it so people can see it. I mean, there was a way where you could pay, I think, like $3.50 and you get it. But people, they just didn't have time to go into it. So I, But they will be able to see it. It's, it's 14 minutes long. It's a short. It's a short. And I'm very proud. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of the company. And it was mostly women. And then I cast a wonderful actress, Saratoga Ballantyne. I cast her opposite me because I did the casting. I wanted somebody totally opposite of my type. I'm very earthy. She is light and fluffy and pretty and blonde and airy. And she was magnificent in the role. Beautiful. Yes. So thank you so thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your gratitude with everyone. And keep up the great work keep up thank the great you. work yes and I would thank love you. to continue to follow you and <laughs> watch all the amazing things that you, you are doing so oh, Regina, thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. so yes so now as we sail along everyone thank you for being a part of the Regina Queen show and remember never doubt your strength you are very strong, very strong. Yep. Gina Queen. Yep. You and are enough. We love you all. You are enough. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.